<gasps> Hello, and welcome to another episode of Do It on a Unicycle. As you can tell from the intro, I am trying to ride my unicycle on a rowboat. So, getting the rowboat to the water took a little bit of work, but luckily I had my wife to help me out. The next thing I had to do was cut out a sheet of plywood that fit into the bottom of the rowboat, smoothing out the uneven surfaces, making it easier to ride in. Once I had everything set up, I did a dry run to get an idea of how it would feel to idle in the rowboat. Um, in this particular run, I idled about 30 times, which I set as my goal to be able to idle in the rowboat in the water. Once we were done with all that, we were good to go. What if you put the paddles in the water? I was having a hard time starting, so being able to hold on to the oars really helped get my bearings and just really get used to the feel of idling in the rowboat without having to worry about falling over. Just as I was starting to get the hang of things, this some cold water and wet jeans slow me down, so I went back out. This was my best run at just over 20 idols, and although it was short of my 30 idol goal, I was quite happy with it, and it was a great improvement for my early runs. trying to row the boat while riding the unicycle was very awkward and ineffective. I was idling in the opposite direction I was rowing, which meant most of the energy I was putting in to move the boat was lost. 
It may also have helped if I was rowing in the correct direction and not backwards. Well, overall I would say unicycling in the rowboat was a success. I had some good idle attempts and was actually able to row the boat and ride at the same time. I hope you enjoyed, thanks for watching, and please like and subscribe. Do it on a unicycle.